So with week three, we're going to start by uh, reading this article about impacts of touchscreen size. Let's confirm that. Okay, it's a, it's a, uh, oh, a formal article, so blah, blah, blah. It's going to be a little more puffy, puffy. Uh, but generally, the point is safety, right? Um, in other words, size plays a very uh, important role in how usable something that is basically just out of arm's reach as from the steering wheel you know you from the steering wheel you can let go and touch the screen okay but it's still stretched to some degree um, and therefore size is very important because safety is so important so other app designers don't really have to think about safety the way that you do you know I guess uh, those that design Pokemon Go and things like that probably do, but not even to the degree that you're going to have to think of when you design something for the automotive interface. And that's because, uh, you know, you don't want someone driving and being distracted <laughs> by their interface. So the, the more simplistic, uh, the clearer, the better. So that's this article. I think you'll like it. And you'll see that it makes sense. Okay, the booklet, pretty simple uh, for this week. We just we want to talk about the grid. So the grid is, hey, you've got this rectangle. That rectangle represents your screen. How are you going to divide it up into grid? It could be a perfect grid, and that is everything. It could be a square. Um, I encourage you probably to grid it off based on however you set up your navigation. So if you set up the navigation across the bottom, then let each block become a column, and then maybe have some horizontal lines too to, to have standards about where you're going to put titles and subtitles, etc. <coughs> of course, you know, if you did it this way, the blocks could be over here, and then more the columns would go across, etc. Uh, another thing to figure out, Typography, you know, you probably want to use just one typeface. It makes sense. It would uh, use less space in the ECU of the computer. And, um, you can find something with lots of weights, so you could still have your variety, italic and non-italic. So that would work. Um, and probably, generally um, speaking, we have decided that Sans serif is better for screens, although with all their pixels nowadays, they're so high res, you could probably get away with um, serif typefaces on the screen, but it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel, it feels like print and it doesn't feel like a screen. So I don't know. Sans serif seems to win, in my opinion, hands down. All right. Then, um, 15 screens at a minimum. So we're, we're launching right into production. <clears throat> it's basically saying, uh, look at your low fidelity, um, what works on that, rebuild it, design it. Okay, you know, the navigation, once you build it, it's going to stay the same for every screen, thank goodness, for the most part, unless you change colors or something. Um, so those kind of things will speed you up once you figure that out. And then... Um, you know, you start cranking everything else out that goes along with it. You can have a lot of screens built really quickly. And again, dark mode would make probably make sense. Um, and then you're going to start putting it together. Um, I'm not going to have you turn it in as a working prototype yet, but I do encourage you to start constructing it. You know. <clears throat> and we'll have a discussion about icon unity. It's something that's pretty important to me. Um, and, you know, arguably, maybe this is a time to, I should have had you make the color palette first, because, you know, how can you design 15 screens without a color palette? I, I don't know. So maybe I'm, my process is a little backwards, because color palette's next week. But, you know, at least determine the colors. You don't have to um, formally put them in the book and formally outline them by numbers, RGB would probably be what 
I would list them as. But, you know. Okay, so not, as far as the booklet and reading goes, not a lot of extra stuff. This is where the, the hard part will be. And again, you don't have to have the prototype working. You just, you know, at least get it started. Okay, that's week three. Oh, I don't even know if I'm still recording. I am. Thank you, Sarah.